Hi friends, welcome to the series Glimpses of Legal Legends of India. In the present episode, we will be discussing on S. P. Sinha. He was born on 24th of March 1863 in village Raipur at Bengal. He was born in a Zamidari family. After the initial education, he left to England and in 1886, he passed a bar exam. He was called at bar in Lincoln's Inn. He returned to India and joined the Calcutta bar. There are several first things which he achieved in his entire career as a legal professional. He was first Indian Advocate General of Bengal. He was first Indian to become member of Viceroy Council. He was first Indian member of British House of Lords and first Indian to be made King's Counsel. Mr. Sinha had an excellent grip and knowledge of Roman law as well as international law. He was an excellent cross-examiner and always advised people that during the course of cross-examination, please do not keep on fishing be very specific, understand the essence of your case and then cross-examine. He was a thorough gentleman to the core and there is one incident which will tell us how he was a thorough gentleman. There was a criminal case in which Mr. Sinha was for prosecution and one Mr. Jackson was for defense. This Jackson was also called as Tiger Jackson. He had been in the bar since very long and throughout the process of cross-examination, he kept on abusing witnesses, the prosecution as well as judges and finally he made a remark that I was present when this court was born but I will not be present when this court will be dead. After such kind of an filthy language and abuses, when Ms. Sinha rose up in a very calm and quiet manner, he said that I accept that as far as my practice is concerned, I am much junior to the Jackson. But at the same time, I have learned the fact that we are supposed to be humble before the court while presenting the case and then said I will proceed to the case. So he did not react to what Tiger Jackson said, he did not return any abuses to him, he simply conducted the case and went on. As far as his academic excellency is concerned, there is one more incident. There was a very crucial case in which N. N. Sarkar and P. R. Das were arguing a particular matter. As far as their client were concerned, there was one particular judgment passed by the court before whom they were arguing and that particular judgment was based on the judgment passed by Sir George Jessel. So, they were thoroughly tensed and confused. They met S.P. Sina and told him this fact. On this, Mr. Sina asked them that have you gone through the judgment of Sir George Jessel? Both of them said no. Mr. Sina went through the basic judgment of George Jessel and told N.N. Sarkar and P. R. Das that the point involved in that particular case is regarding copyhold and ma manorial records whereas in the present case the point involved is regarding leasehold and hence that judgment will not come in their way in arguments. It so happened, they argued the case and they won the case. 
This shows the academic excellency of SP Sina. Team Hamurabi tablet salutes him.